next speaker is uh, Mr. Peter Mayer, managing director, of, ma managing director sorry, from uh, Array, Arrays. And the title of the presentation is Smart Base Station Antenna for Next Generation Mobile Communication. Please. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's change a little bit the topics. We are talking cellular now. So, talking cellular, can you imagine that there is or will be a base station antenna that provides 10 times more capacity than we'll have it right now? We say yes, there will be one, and Arrays is developing it. So what is the problem? The problem is that wireless transmission is currently more or less exploding. So every 18 months, the data transfer is doubling over our wireless uh, networks. And as we all know, painfully know, the income from the uh, operators are remaining flat. So we have a problem here. So how to increase capacity? Look at the way we are currently communicating with, uh, in the cellular network. We are broadcasting uh, the, the whole information to a complete cell, wasting a lot of energy. So we have to change that way to communicate. We have to create beams that are pointing directly to the users and are therefore much more efficient than, than the current systems. If we are now able not to just to create one of those beams, but several of those beams, then we can dramatically increase the capacity of a network. For example, by a factor of 10, if we use 10 instead of one beam. So that's what Arrays is all about. We are doing beam forming antennas, right? So how do we do this? So first of all, instead of using one big powerful base station with, 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 with this focusing on, on power, we're using small, tiny, highly integrated and less expensive components coming from the Handy and Femto space, right? Which has, of course, not so much power, but if we take 100 of those, we can reach the same power like a big base station. Second, if we have 100 of those small uh, receive transmit units, we can put them in an array, and if we put them in an array and are able to synchronize them correctly, we can create beams, and we can put the beams wherever we like to put them. And furthermore, if we do that in the digital domain as we do, we can do several of those beams coming out of the same antenna. Of course, and that comes to the third point, it's very difficult to handle 100 and more of these little units. So we found a way to bring down this, this task by creating little modules that do the processing, and then uh, the, the whole thing of creating these kind of antennas becomes a very easy thing to do. So we are doing basically base station uh, antennas by creating modules. These are Lego light building blocks where we can build then the big radio units, which are currently the, the, the products that will go out to the market and will be connected to the networks. They work already now in the 4G systems and will be key element for the next generation 5G, which comes at a certain moment in time. They are scalable and easy to use. Customers are antenna manufacturers, the OEMs, and small cell providers. Competition is coming mainly from China, but they are working on a more difficult approach than we are doing. The market will be big, driven by the, the factor that more and more capacity must be there. We assume that by 2020, about 12 million base stations have to change to this kind of technology. And this is just a starting, right? Because with 5G, this kind of technology will become a standard and bring the numbers much further. So this will be a huge market, and you get a, a, a slight vision of this if you imagine that currently one base station is serving 100 handhelds. In future, one handheld will have on the base station 10 transceivers in average serving them. So there will be more transceivers in base stations as there are handouts out there. So this is a huge market, and we are going to participate in this one. How are we going to do this? We will create a first prototype within one year showing that this uh, is possible. We have already a technology demonstrator showing the key technology. Then one year later, we'll have a sellable product creating revenue, and we think that by 
2019, we will have sufficient revenue to become profitable. We think that moving forward, a lot of the baseband processing will actually move into the antenna, bringing more value into the antenna, and we will be able to create ASICs that, that will further bring up our, our value in this kind of, of products. The team consists of uh, experienced managers in, in the semiconductors and wireless space, working on, on this kind of topic since 2G, and have already two successful startups uh, finalized, successful exits there. And there's a strong relationship that we have to the Vodafone chair here in Dresden with its famous 5G labs. From this uh, chair also are coming three graduates that are, are bringing even more value to the team. And our, our intention is to grow this team to 30 within the next three years to address this market. So I hope I found some interest with you. So see me in the Innovation Village, and I'm looking forward to interesting discussions. Thank you.